tonight with a tragedy on the water. A teenager killed in a boating accident in the Florida Keys. The high school athlete was set to graduate this year. His sudden death devastating loved ones. Local 10's Christian De La Rosa live in Pinecrest with the outpouring of grief. Christian. And this family asking for privacy as they try to process this pain, this sudden loss of this young man with a whole life ahead of him. One loved one describing it as a nightmare. Lucas Alvarez was just 18. <laughs> Cruising with friends into Bowlegs Cut off of Isla Morada Sunday, something went tragically wrong. The 24-foot boat they were in, now at the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission of Marathon, shows signs of the deadly impact. Detectives telling Local 10 News the boat crashed into a channel marker. Alvarez was found in the water with trauma to his lower torso. Paramedics giving him CPR, rushing him to nearby Mariner's Hospital, but he would not survive. The pole's missing. That must be the one they hit. Captain Phil Leonard taking us to the scene, saying the crash doesn't make a lot of sense. That is a well-marked channel. It's not a wheel ditch. It's not a ditch to the mangrove. A long line of cars outside the young men's Pinecrest family home. Family, friends, classmates with heavy hearts pouring in to mourn. Alvarez was a high school senior at Westminster Christian School in Palmetto Bay. School staff honoring his memory, saying in part, Lucas was loved by many and was known for being kind to everyone. He was the captain of the lacrosse team and planned on attending Universal Technical Institute in Orlando after graduation. The three other young men in that boat also being identified tonight as 18-year-old David Castillo and 17-year-olds Nelson Alberetta and Andres Campos all survived. None of them were injured. We told you Alvarez was a captain of his lacrosse team. That team had a match scheduled for tomorrow night. It's been canceled. We're live in Pinecrest. I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News.